Ask almost anyone in Del Rio, Tennessee, how to find Granny Nichols' house, and they'll not only tell you how to get there, they'll also tell you stories about how many babies she's delivered. She never left my side or anything, and she was, she was real good to you. Uh. She'd treat you, you know, just like you was one of her own. In a moment, we'll tell you more about Etta Nichols, a midwife who, according to her recollection, has delivered more than 2,000 babies. Etta Nichols is 87 years old. She's lived in rural Cock County all of her life, but she's traveled all over East Tennessee delivering babies. She learned some of her skill from her father, a country doctor, but she says her knack for delivering babies is just something that's in her blood. I'd always wanted to be a nurse. My mother was sick so much that I had to do the work at home and I didn't get to go to school to make a nurse. So I just went to delivering babies and I got home. You have to have patience. Anybody that's nervous and, and can't, ain't got no patience and got a bit of business of delivering a baby. Mrs. Nichols stopped making house calls about 20 years ago, but women are still flocking to her home to have their babies. Most of them come once a month and I check them and see if they're getting along all right, take the baby's heartbeat. And then when they come to have their baby, well, I just, just deliver it for them when it gets ready to come. They have to have pains and they have to hold, they have to bear down to their, the better you bear down and put your strength up, the less it hurts. If you keep, try to get away from it and won't bear down to it, it takes a lot longer and, it, and what I call bearing down is pushing with your strength, you know what I mean, you know, holding your breath and <laughs> putting that pressure out. <laughs> this gentle midwife charges $15 to deliver a baby. Sometimes she doesn't even get that, but she's never turned anyone away. I'd get it if I was charged 50 or maybe $100. I'd, I'd get it, I guess, if they ever got it or had it. There's a lot of poor people. And they've got, a lot of them's got families, and I don't want no kid to go to bed hungry, and me thinking that I took their money that they could use something to eat, and I just charge a little. But for that little, the people she helps get a lot. My first and Stephen, he was born at the hospital in Newport, and, yeah. and uh, Jason here, he was born at Miss Nichols. Well, at the hospital, there's more convenience, but but. At Miss Nichols, there's, it's a lot of difference. It's like, you know, being at home, and I like that the best. <laughs> it's what I remember the most. She was, she was real good to you. We asked Mrs. Nichols if she had any plans to retire, and with a twinkle of her eye, she said, no, I don't plan to stop until my toes are sticking straight up. For the Heartland Series, I'm Edie Ellis in Cock County.